everyone i am here with a very exciting unboxing for you i have here um, this is an independent deck it is max rasdo and i hope i'm pronouncing your raise your name right mage cards so that's what it looks like there that's the box um, he was really sweet and asked me if i would like to review these and i said yes i think that this is a really interesting idea an interesting concept and i'm actually surprised i have not heard of anyone doing this um, I don't know if he is the first doing this. If he's not, you know, um, I apologize. <laughs> but um, he, uh, it's definitely a unique idea that I think um, could really go places. So what the idea is with these cards, these cards are, it's an oracle card, but um, it kind of makes me think of when you get cards for things like Magic the Gathering or any other kind of sort of card-based um, game that you can get out there where you don't get the full deck. What you get is, uh, for this one, you get 13 mage cards um, out of 18, 9 familiars and beings out of 18, 7 aspects from 300 total, 1 goddess from 8 total, and 1 elusive entities, and there's going to be more mates, so it says unknown total. So just like, like let's say you get, um, you buy cards for like Magic the Gathering, you get a certain amount of so many different types of cards, but you don't know which ones you're going to get. And the thing is, you can always buy more to expand it. So you'd see people with a small collection, you'd see people with a giant collection. And everybody's collection would look entirely different. Um, this just reminds me so much of my early university days. I used to date um, a guy that was really into gaming, and he would have all these different kinds of, of card games and things like that. And that's what this really makes me think of, is that I Idea. So the thing is, your Oracle deck will look very different than somebody else's Oracle deck. And I think that's really cool because it just makes it very, uh, very unique, very different. And it's almost like the cards that are in here are almost like a little reading for you because they are, um, they're kind of, you know, your, the ones you get um, are speaking to you and to what maybe you need to work on or uh, have messages for you as well. So I think it's a really interesting idea. Um, the cards themselves, I'm going to show you the artwork. He is a fine artist. Um, I'm going to put his links down below to his website, also to his Instagram. Um, I could, you know, it's interesting. I went to fine art school as well. I went to art school and um, I'm always excited when I see another artist or another trained artist doing their stuff and doing it in the, the Oracle deck industry. Um, his artwork looks really amazing. So you should totally go and check it out. But let's turn the camera around and let's open these up. I have, I've taken the plastic off, but I've not opened these. So I have no idea which ones I'm getting in here. And I'm very excited to find out. So let's take a look at the mage cards. I'm very excited to see, like I said, what I've got. Uh, the box for this is just your typical kind of tuck box. Um, so I might have to get like a, a box of some kind or a bag to keep these in just because I do like to have something a little more sturdy, but nothing wrong with this box. I also think that, um, you know, there's got some good information on the back. So we have here the instructions. So a living oracle, and it has the method for reading on there as well as a three card one. So that's really helpful to have that. Um, and then on the back here, it has the different kinds of cards as well. So we've got, um, I just wanna make sure I can see that. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. There we go. So it has the mage cards. Um, it has the faculties. We have wizardry, witchcraft, alchemy, black magic, divination, and shamanism. And then it has the beings. So angels, merfolk, dwarves, demiurgic, giants, fairies, automatia, dragons, chimeras, eccentrics, calculaire, and nymphae. Lots of different correspondences. And so you can see you can get lots of different cards. So there's mages, beings, aspects, and spells. So some different, um, the different kind of suits and things that you can get. So this is really cool. This little fold out here telling you about the different kinds of cards that you can get, as well as the readings as well. So it's nice that he included that there, uh, the fold out for uh, information. So this is the backs of the cards here. Um, so you can see this is, I'm not sure of my GFMs, but it's nice and flexible without being too thin. I like a flexible card because it's easier to shuffle. Um, and it's got here, 
my got this upside down yes i do okay so you've got this cool kind of like eight pointed star here and then we've got nature chaos techni tulpa gnosis order numia and Aperion here. So the eight different kinds of, I think it's spells, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So let's see what we got. So first we have Hermeticist. So I think this is a kind of mage. I love the artwork on here. I love the line work. I love how there's so many images in these cards. Um, it's got like watercolor, you've got inks, and you've got this delicate kind of line work. And you can see that there's an image upside down and also an image right side up as well. So you can read these upside down or not. These are really intuitive cards. These make me kind of think of soul cards where there's no particular, the soul cards I think don't even have a name on them, but there's so much going on in this image. You can really tap into your intuitive vibes to, um, to really look at what the symbolism in in these particular cards here. So I love that. I love this going into this guy's mouth and then out. Just get my lighting a little bit better. Show these. There is like a, um, a shiny laminate on that. So that's why it's reflecting a little bit. So I'm trying to get it to not reflect. So I love that. The Alchemist. I love this. I love the arm here. This going on. Again, the purples and the greens. There's a lot going on here, whether it's right side up or upside down so much the river here lots going on the witch oh i like this so you've got some nudity here but that's okay um, i love here the owl the trees the nature you've got the water here and the green this is really beautiful these are lovely the adept here he's learning, got the books here. I love this chair that's like a tree, his thoughtfulness. And then you've got the city kind of over here in the background. It's just so much going on. These must have taken like a lot of time. There's a lot of detail in these. The Selkie, it's beautiful. There's lots of, I love the palette in here, the blues and greens and purples with the black, really fine line work. So this definitely evokes kind of the seal. It makes me think a little bit of the myth of Sedna going on here. You've got a very Arctic kind of feel to it. Um, you've got this cold ocean type feel to this particular card. The Dockelfar, I'll have to look that up to see what that means. You've got the sword here. It looks like some kind of um, knight going on here. Um, you've got all sorts of these kind of swirls and sort of sea-like things going on. But you've also got these reds too. Very strong image for sure. It looks like the moon back there. I love this sword going on here though. The dwarf. That's beautiful. I love the face. The body here, you've got the shovels, um, you know, sort of the earth energy going on, the underground energy, the crystals. It's very beautiful. We've got elf here. Love the bluey greens. Nature. There's lots of, it's very interesting, like how things morph into other things in this particular deck. And that's why I think you can really use your intuition. The sea demigod, that's beautiful. Makes me think of the earth, and then you've got kind of this Neptune-like figure here. It's very lovely. I think this would be better with the light off, so we don't get like that much glare. Okay, yeah, that's better. Here we have the Eldric stump. So I like this little circle here. And then you've got, um, you've got lots of like, looks like coral going on. It's sort of foresty and flowers, but also under the sea type imagery. Uh, it just evokes so many things, that's abstract type art. 
the lunar demigoddess. So I think all the demigods are in this sort of circle type imagery. Here you've, it's interesting because it's lunar. You've got this other circle as well. And you've got this feminine figure. It looks like a deer that's here. It's a very feminine type of image that's going on. The midnight demigoddess. This one's darker. You've got her, she looks kind of like a, a sibyl or like a, an oracle of some kind. And uh, it's got this sort of underground kind of very, very dark type imagery going on. We've got the demigoddess of crossings. So this very much makes me think of Hecate. You've got this figure over here. You've got the dogs. Uh, you've got the river here in the mountains. So it's all about, you know, crossing over and, and going to the other side. And this is, uh, it's different. This one has yellow and we have yet to see yellow. So that's, that's interesting for sure. This is the volcano god. Love this. Love again. We've got the two circles. Uh, we've got this figure in here. We've got fire. We've got another person underneath. So there's a lot that can be really kind of delved into, into these cards. The fae laurels. So you've got the beautiful flowers. You've got this figure here. It's interesting. They all contain a figure of some kind. And then there's always like natural elements along with the, um, the colors that you can really delve into for chakra work or for the symbolism of those colors. The hag. Love this. So here we've got the hag. She's kind of got this humpback or this like sort of hood going on. Um, you've got all these beautiful plant life here and the tree, although the tree doesn't have, you know, leaves on it. Um, so there's, you know, this sense, oh, the spider in there too. I love that. That's great imagery. We've got the ranger. This makes me kind of think of the Lord of the Rings a little bit. Um, got here he's got the animal he's got the chicken in here he's got the wolf he's got the deer so this the, it makes me think a little bit the hermit with the lamp but definitely caring for the animals you've got the mushrooms the animals and the plants um, you know connected with nature here the seer very cool lots of oranges and reds in this one too and he's got his information his little book there He's weaving things, all the colors connected to the ground. There's so much going on in these, like each one of these. You could pull a card a day and just, you know, think about it and just, you know, freeform write your intuitive senses on each of these. So this is a scryer. I love this. You love, he's got the horns here, all these beautiful, like, oh, this is just lovely. This sort of mirror he's looking into and lots of stuff going on here the swirls i love all these like swirling images that are going on and um, sort of the natural things morphing into other things beautiful the golem very cool you really sense there's a Lord of the Rings um, sort of influence here, or at least, you know, a lot of fantasy influence. And I think there's a lot of crossover between fantasy and, um, and Oracle cards as well. Okay, I'm going to have to pick this up a bit. We've got the Dryad. I could comment on everyone, but I'm running out of time. So uh, on this camera, the Umenon, beautiful. These are gorgeous. The hill spell, oh, different spells. I love this. I love the ink work here. The hero's ground. The griffin spell. The head of Medusa. Oh, I love this. Love Medusa. Beautiful. The Michael demigod. The place of absurdity. I love the place of absurdity. The polyethic beacons. I love the colors around the circle on these ones and the shapes going on. So much symbolism going on here. And the occultist. 
beautiful. So I am loving these. I think there's so much going on. If I had one criticism, it would just be that I wish the images were bigger. I just wish that they were, um, they covered the whole thing. They're a bit bigger because there is so much going on in these images. I feel like we could really delve 